What's cracking, Rad Roaches? It's your motherfucking boy, All Out, back from my hiatus. Now, I haven't made a video in about, oh, two or so months. You know, I've been really busy with uh, life and, you know, doing stuffy stuff. So, I haven't had the time to put out any videos. But there also hasn't been much, much, you know, real news in the way of Fallout 4 or Bethesda or anything. You know, not since uh, they announced they're having their E3 press conference, anyway. But I figured today would be a good time to make a video since as most of you probably have seen, you know, this this site, PC Games, it's a German site. They said that there's going to be a 20 to 30 gameplay reveal of Fallout 4 at E3, and it blew up all over Twitter, it was trending, you know, IGN even reported on it. So, you know, I figured this would be a good time as any to, you know, try and clear things up a little bit for you guys and, uh, Maybe, you know, make my official predictions for E3, seeing as we're only, you know, a month and eight or so days away from the from the big dance. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to jump right into this. So, yeah, this site, PCGames.de, which stands for Deutschland, I would assume, which is Germany, said something. Now, I had the... I had the English version on, version on my phone, but this is the German version. I, I my knowledge of German is very limited. All I know how to say in German is is a uh, pretty much "Dorke bitte zur Toilette gehen," which is "May I please go to the bathroom?" Because uh, I fucking hated German. Um, I did take three years of it, and I didn't learn anything. So uh, yeah, it says, but but it says something about you know. There's going to be a 20 to 30 gameplay, 20 to 30 minute gameplay reveal of Fallout 4. Even something about it being behind closed doors, which is stupid as shit, and I'm going to explain why. And, uh, yeah, and apparently that's all the internet needs to fucking blow up in a bowl of smoke. Well, I'm not going to be pessimistic, because, you know, if you've been following me at all, you'll know that I firmly believe that Fallout 4 will be now CE3. I believe it's, you know, a done deal, it's set in stone. The only questions I've been saying, the only questions I've been saying are, will we see gameplay, and when will it be released? Now, this report says that we will in fact see gameplay, but it also says that a 2015 release date is not likely. Now, while, while I agree that I think we're going to see gameplay, it definitely won't be behind closed doors. You know, Bethesda is not going to hold a whole fucking press conference for the first time ever. This, this huge event, you know, it's, I mean, it's gonna, I don't know how long it'll run, but I would speculate at least, you know, an hour to, to two hours, maybe. You know, they're not gonna have a two-hour press conference, stream it, you know, just have it all over the internet, hype it up so much, just to be like, okay, guys, you know, here's your little 10-second reveal trailer, but to see the gameplay, you gotta, you gotta be like a media personnel or someone special that we picked out. No, there's not a chance the hell they would do that. They would get fucking ripped to shreds if they did that. And, you know, that would kind of go against, you know, what Todd Howard was saying. He doesn't want to dribble information out, you know. That's why I've been saying that there's going to be gameplay is because Todd Howard said that. You know, they want to shorten the time from announcement to release. And he said he wants it to be there. Like, when they announce it, it's, you know, boom, it's, you know, ready to go. And that's why I've been saying 2015 release. And uh, if, if you want to see the link to that interview... Um, I'm not sure the exact quote he used. You can watch that and find it for yourself. Yeah. I mean, either way, there's only 38 days left until the conference. So, I mean, I'm excited. I'm sure a lot of you guys are. And uh, I'm going to get into my official predictions here. Now, I officially will predict that Fallout 4 will be revealed. I officially predict that there will be a gameplay reveal. I, I don't know how long. I I'd speculate. I mean, 20 to 30 minutes seems a bit much. I mean, I don't think they're going to spend, you know, the whole conference talking about Fallout 4. You know, they're going to want to talk about Doom a lot. They're definitely going to be showing Doom gameplay since they haven't, except for, you know, a few people. They're also going to want to talk about, um, you know, possibly Dishonored 2, you know, or any other new game from uh, the people who made The Evil Within or the people who made um, Wolfenstein. And, you know, they're also going to want to talk about Battlecry, which is a free-to-play game, which no one's going to give a fuck about. Like, that's the thing. It's like, you know... Like if you go into a fight, like if you go, if you went and watched Mayweather Pacquiao, you know, you know how they got all the smaller fights, you know, before then, like 
that would be battle cry battle cry would be like the first fight between you know someone who's like five and oh and someone else is like two and seven or some shit you know no one gives a fuck about that fight and no one gives a fuck about battle cry to be perfectly honest i'm sorry pete hines but that's just how it is everyone is there to see fallout 4 and you know hopefully they're gonna go home happy um i mean look there's there's nothing else that bethesda game studios would frankly realistically announce you know realistically they're not gonna announce new elder scrolls because you know the elder scrolls online is still very much you know alive the console version hasn't even released yet so they're probably gonna hype that up you might even see you know an expansion or some some shit on display at e3 ah, excuse me i had to drink a fresh nuka cola you know the elder scrolls 6 is probably in like pre-development or some shit it's probably not nearly ready to be shown and I mean, Bethesda would, it, it just wouldn't make sense. I mean, why would they do three technically Elder Scrolls games in a row? Why would they have Skyrim? And then why would they have the Elder Scrolls Online being made when fucking Elder Scrolls 6 is just coming out, you know, a year or two after, you know? So that's not happening. I mean, a new IP, I mean, if you want to be that person and say, oh, well, I could reveal a new IP, then, you know, whatever. But I mean, Bethesda, Bethesda, Bethesda was originally just known for one IP, and that's Elder Scrolls, but then Pete Hines and Todd Howard, they're like, okay, we want to do something else, what can we do? And they're like, okay, let's buy Fallout, and then they made Fallout 3. So, I mean, they've only made one Fallout game, so why would they want to be like, okay, we're tired of making Fallouts already, let's buy another IP, or, or make another IP, I mean, I just, I just can't see that happening. Maybe after Fallout 4 comes out, maybe they, they'll try an another new IP, I mean, I, I'd love to see them do it. I mean, just give me Fallout 4 first. I mean, any game that Bethesda Game Studios will make is going to be quality. That much is almost a guarantee. You know, they're, they're going to have their little bugs and little glitches, and people bitch about that. People say, oh, the, people probably bitch about the story, too, and blah, 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 blah. But overall, when it's all said and done, you know, it'll have, you know, 90-something on Metacritic, you know, Game of the Year nominee, if not winner. I mean, it's just, you know... That, that's just what they do. I mean, they're probably the best, most consistent developer out there. Um, I'd say them and Rockstar Games. Or, and uh, Naughty Dog, too, but that's not that's not the purpose of this video. As far as stuff besides Fallout 4 that I think we'll see, I think we'll definitely see, you know, Dishonored 2. I mean, that was that's also been rumor, rumored for a while now, and the first Dishonored was wildly popular and was very critically acclaimed. So they'd be stupid not to capitalize on that and make another one. And, uh, of course, we're, we're, we're gonna hear about Doom, like I said, so that'll be the big three that they'll focus on. It'll be Doom, the part show first, you know, to, you know, just try and, you know, hype people up with Doom. Then they'll probably, you know, talk about Battlecry and, you know, Elder Scrolls Online and Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein DLC in the middle, you know. And then they'll get back and just, you know, set the world on fire with Fallout 4 at the end and leave people, you know, just, just foaming at the mouth. That's how, you know, English teachers would set it up anyway, you know. You, you want you, you want the best stuff in the front and the back, and you want the filler, you know, in the middle. You know, you want to hide that stuff. You know, absolutely no one will be talking about Battle Cry after this conference, let me assure you. And I mean, I'm sorry that I keep, I, it seems that I keep racking on Battle Cry, but that's just the truth. You know, I'm just interested to see how it all unfolds, to be perfectly honest. Like, I know they're gonna wow us, and I know it's gonna be an amazing moment. But I just want to see how, like... The way they announced Skyrim was so perfect, you know, with, you know, all the people in the robes coming on stage, the, the, the smoke, and Todd Howard coming out, you know, I just don't see how they can possibly top that, but I, I think they will, somehow, and, uh, yeah, anyway, um, let's wrap it up, so, take this report from PC Games with a grain of salt, I mean, I've never heard of this website before, I'll leave a link in the, in the description to it if you guys want to check it out, and if you guys have better German knowledge than me. I mean, uh, you guys probably don't want to hear me read this. I mean, like, Ein Branken Insider mit Kontakt zu Entwickler with the Softworks? I mean, no, you don't want to hear that, so you can read it for yourself. And, um, yeah, just take that with a grain of salt. There's 38 days left, people, so I mean, it's not like we got way forever to find out anymore, guys. This is it. This is the home stretch. So, uh, yeah. I hope you, uh, found this video helpful and enjoyable. And uh, follow me on Twitter, if you don't already, at For All Out. And, you know, it's going to be a fun ride. So chew, motherfucking chew. 38 days. Bye-bye.